And also, just to be clear, um, a man of means is not going to be in my comments trying to tear me down. He's too busy investing and understanding that his financial stability and his assets affords him a certain level of privilege, so he's taking full advantage of that. This is for the Megan Stallion stands of the world, the girls who want to level up, the girls who don't want to break the bank but still want to look very cute. Okay, this is the makeup look that I wear and I noticed that I get approached a lot by a certain type of man who typically is a man of means. It ain't no problem, sis. It ain't no problem, okay? And so I just noticed when I do this type of look, it is very well received. And so I'm giving y'all the gems and we're gonna kiki as well. And also, how many of y'all, let me know and light the comment section up, how many of you would actually be interested in um, trying to get you a little sugar daddy situation? A lot of y'all are hesitant to admit that, but y'all be in my DMs like pink, how, how can I hook myself up? So if you're in the spirit of leveling up, if you want to know all the tea on my everyday kind of makeup look, and if you just wanna, you know, if you're just here for the tea, keep on watching. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. Be sure to subscribe, join the family. Let me know if you subscribe, cause then I'll give you a nice warm welcome. Share this with your homeboys and your homegirls because we're all leveling up this 2019. And if you like this little concept, if you wanna see a more expensive kind of like luxe version of this look, then give it a thumbs up. And also, Kiki in the comments. I'll see you in the video. So let's just jump right into it. I'm not even gonna hold you. So one of the first things I wanna do is moisturize and hydrate the skin. So I'm using the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Matte and the Art Naturals Hyaluronic Enhanced Hydration Formula Serum. And yeah, we're gonna do that. And sis, this is one of the makeup looks that I notice tend to get me quite a bit of attention. Um, typically men who are uh, well off and the thing is let's just be clear you have to put yourself in a certain space if you're trying to attract a certain energy okay so if you want something for yourself it's definitely okay but put yourself in that space position yourself you know what I'm saying if you're looking for a certain demographic there is nothing wrong with that and so I noticed the fresh face, more neutral, not too much of an overly done kind of makeup look really makes me stand out for whatever reason. But I mean, I can't blame, I can't blame. But there are really men of means who are, you know, doing well for themselves. They're affluent. They are out here looking for the girls, okay? So I noticed a lot of y'all, you're afraid to admit this, but you, would entertain a sugar daddy y'all afraid i get it i totally get it um because there's a, a stigma there's a connotation you're a gold digger this and that and i think those are words used by men who have a great deal of insecurity and aren't 100 percent comfortable within themselves and what they can actually do for their partners that's just my opinion um because men when they date they have an agenda okay Sometimes they're on their hobosexual flow, just looking for somebody to lay their head. Other of them are looking to run your pockets and you don't even know it, but you're so desperate that you want to be in a relationship that you are willing you know, to compromise your ethics and your intellect to accommodate them. And this is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. This is an espresso, and I like to use this to go in and you know, work up these brows. Ooh, I got a little now you don't have to you know particularly want something like as transactional as a sugar daddy you may just want to date up you want to date a man who can provide for you and i think in history and just society in general always views women as like these nurturers they're super caring they're the home you know bodies or they're someone that's taking care of like domestic tasks and when you see a shift in women who are getting their degrees who are making a substantial amount of money and they don't have to rely on their mate they can do it on their own 
so thus they're looking for someone who's doing better than them i think men see that and sometimes are threatened by it i don't understand why you would feel threatened by someone who is doing well because if you know you have something to offer there is no conversation like you know what you bring to the table and this woman who knows what she wants and is willing to you know seek it at all costs and not compromise or settle that should not even be anything other than something that you should respect but again it depends on who you're dealing with and then also it's about also reshaping and reconditioning your thought process a lot of you are sometimes fed this narrative that if you don't do it another woman will if you don't have a clean home if you don't have sex with your man every night if you don't cater to him then someone else will being nice to men doesn't guarantee that they'll they'll treat you right being nice to men does not guarantee that you'll have a successful relationship being nice to men is something that you elect to do um, but it, it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's going to get you the results that you may be looking for because mm -hmm. when you're dating it should be results driven like you are looking for something in particular and you should seek it and i'm not here to tell a woman what's reasonable i'm not here to tell her or if you want to date someone who doesn't have anything going on like sis, I wouldn't do it because it's pointless to me. I have a lot going on. So you by virtue of just, you know, being associated with me, you got to have something going on. You have something you have to have something to offer. So now to define my brows, I'm going with the L.A. Girl HD Pro Conceal in Cool Tan and I'm going to define my brows. And so here's the thing, a lot of women want to level up. It's just a matter of not knowing how. They want to be in a position where they're okay accepting gifts. And I think the fact that black women have to do so much like conditioning and like preparation in order to put themselves in certain spaces or to believe that they are deserving of a certain level of treatment when there are white women out here going and getting to the bag way easier without any hesitation but yet we're over here like uh, you know well i just don't want anyone to think that you know i'm just using them or that you know i'm a mean person uh sis and by you playing coy, playing nice, it doesn't change the rules of the game. It doesn't, it doesn't, it does not change the rules of the game. It's just when you get, I'm okay, so I'm 28 and I've definitely grown a lot. And I think the choices that I've made as far as who I date, it definitely shifted after after a certain relationship because I was like, ooh, I don't have to take this. This is not the quality of care. This is not what I have to be accustomed to being treated as. I can look for or I can engage or it's as if I can engage with men who are able to do things for me, who see nothing wrong with it. And I think that when we think in terms of like, oh, a sugar daddy or dating up or dating someone who actually has, you know, a substantial financial standing, we get into ourselves and think, oh, well, you know, they're going to manipulate us. They might try to be abusive or some of us associate sugar daddies solely with white men, which... You know that's problematic within itself because there are a lot of black men who have money and i've said this in previous videos they will have money but if you lower the bar and you're okay with having coffee huh, they will keep you in that same arena for as long as you allow even though they are making money and i posted something in my instagram stories and i was talking about uh, that talked about how reasons why you know your date may be not successful or the reason why you didn't hear back from a guy sometimes these dudes don't have the money to maintain any type of relationship and they're too afraid or too prideful to tell you that and honestly if you are not in the best financial situation I I think you should take your time um, work on yourself get your money together so that you can provide for yourself and then you can potentially provide for someone else. 
but I also am realizing just based on the comments of some of the hurt men, you know, under my videos. Are y'all okay? Because a men of means wouldn't be in my comment section telling me that what I want for myself doesn't make sense. They're too busy making money, investing money, or understanding that their financial standing provides them a certain level of privilege. And so they're taking full advantage of that, not wasting it in my comment section. That's no shade, but I think that's facts. And I love watching Shira here on YouTube. I know a lot of the girls know about her. Don't play like you don't. Next, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Rosé in the air palette, and I'm going to use this color right here. We're going to do one eyeshadow look. We're keeping it simple. Again, the natural beat is what it is what does it in. And just throw this over your eyes, you know? Just throw it. And I love these one eyeshadow looks. It's super beginner friendly, and it's effective, sis. Like... Get an eyeshadow that matches your complexion. Again, we're staying more in like the neutral, more natural looking palette of things. So this was definitely like my primer, the Effaclair Matte. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in Classic Tan. This is the foundation that everyone gags over. Hun, I just... It gives, it gives life. It's everything. I understand that getting to this point where you're comfortable dating a certain type of man, it's a journey. And then honestly, educating yourself about the reasons why women are dating in such a way. They're being more strategic. And like I said, your male counterparts date with strategy. They date with intention. And... Financial security is very big because when you have these relationship dynamics where, don't I look crazy? <laughs> when you have these relationship dynamics where the woman is making more money, I've already seen firsthand it does not work, especially among black men. And I think that's something that you have to factor in because that was the model that I saw most often and it did not work in several cases okay and all right okay your grandparents may still be together but how many of them are 100 percent happy how many of them when they sit back and reflect on their marriage and some of the choices that they made like how many of them mentioned they would have walked away there's a, 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 an insane amount of regret like that's a big thing and just dating with intention is not something that is promoted and I'm so happy that there are so many more women on YouTube that are coming forward, that are dropping gems on the girls. Like, and I'm doing this look. It's super affordable because I don't want you all to find an excuse. Do you have to do the most? No, you do not. But do you have to do it with intention? Do you have to be strategic? You know, these little things that you can do to level yourself up, to set yourself apart. And this is the Sonia Kashuk makeup sponge. These are the best things out. You can get these at Target. But look at the finish of this. I'm giving skin, okay? I'm giving skin. I'm giving skin. I'm giving, I am on my way to happy hour at a nice lounge rooftop on Fifth Avenue. I'm not afraid. My colors that I'm wearing on my body, my ensemble will be vibrant. It will speak to the men of power and means in the room. I am going to be very confident. I'm going to have that air of, I know I belong to be in this space. I am here. You will notice me just by virtue of who I am because I embrace myself. You see what I did there? Like I said, I, took, I did a poll on Instagram and a lot of the girls want them a sugar daddy or someone who can provide for them. And y'all think, oh, you have to do something strange for a little piece of change. No, be strategic. Drag out the process. You know, men learn by loss. So if you allow them to continue to invest in you, they're less inclined to walk away. You know, they, they're less inclined to want to get up and go because if they're paying for your college tuition, 
if they're paying your rent for the you know six to twelve months if they're buying you that new computer or laptop that's helping you to gain even more of a following on instagram and youtube like if they see that you know their investments in you offer a great return they're less inclined to walk away says so the thing is you keep them investing okay you keep them investing and you work with your strategy in mind and you always instill this air of hope oh girl instilling that little bit of hope is what is going to help you along the way and also not all the girls want to be partnered okay some of the girls right now aren't in a rush because of what's out there okay there's a lot of fish in the sea but there's also a lot of pollution there's a lot of trash in the sea so and the dating pool for black women decreases significantly after the ages of 16 to 18 and we all know the several factors that contribute to a smaller dating pool but black women are also less inclined to date out and i'll have research and articles below to support the argument we can't just be grabbing shit out of our ass because we think it makes sense to us only so yeah i think when you start doing more research on what it means to be a black woman what it means to date as a black woman how to understand your dating pool to understand why women are dating the way that they date like it's fascinating but it's also scary as hell now i'm going in with the la girl hd pro conceal in pure beige i'm not going to get carried away again i want to add a little bit of light to the face make it light and airy now for me all of my sugar daddy makeup looks you know i don't really be doing it for them but you know they like it um one of the things that i do is i play up my assets so my eyes are a very big thing like that is what gets me a lot of attention i get a lot of compliments on my eyes and i got brown eyes repping for all the brown eye girls you don't okay my features are bomb features so then i'm also going to go in with the sephora make no mistake foundation and concealer sick in mahogany and we're going to be we're going to be gentle Playing up your assets, knowing your body type, knowing your face shape, knowing what features are drawing people to you or that you love. I mean, forget what people like, but what about you are people noticing as you walk into a room? Pay attention to that and use that to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So I'm going lighter on my hand when I'm blending out the contour. I just want to add a bit of warmth to the skin. I'm going to drag it down and around. And it's okay to be honest with yourself about what's not working in your dating kind of life it's okay to be honest it's okay to say you know i dated a broke guy and it didn't work out for these reasons you know and there are girls literally stressing themselves out because they haven't heard from a guy in a few days and the truth is he can't maintain your standards he cannot live up to the standards that you've established he is not in a position to be who you want him to be and think about that sometimes as like that's fate that's like you know something inter if you are religious that's god intervening and saying you don't need this person in your life like process of elimination just allowing people to remove themselves like and take out the trash sometimes we're so butthurt about that but in that instance 
if you are fixated on one person let's open up that dating pool okay let's stop going to certain venues where specific types of people consistently frequent that you find aren't really able to contribute to the lifestyle that you want to live let's be honest about that let's also begin to open ourselves up to different areas different spaces where there is you know a little bit more money a little bit more wealth a little bit more access you want assets okay wealth is contingent upon assets you want something where someone can actually do something for you because the money that you can just you know throw and show on instagram that's not the money that's going to be able to take care of my children if we so choose to have children and i think dating with a purpose and dating you know a particular person so that you can set up your future now i'm not a big fan of dj khaled but the fact that he brought up from the time that his child was born it was about setting him up to be successful or to just have him taken care of prioritizing your child's well-being beyond your time here is so important so that your child can live to have opportunities you may not have to be their best so that they can go on contribute to society and kind of continue this pattern like you know you know how i feel about children being born into poverty and impoverished circumstances and conditions when it wasn't necessary so if you have control over who you are dating being more selective can save you in the long run and i think the bigger goal here is you don't have to agree with anything i'm saying but understanding that black women think very differently from you and some are going to be on board and some won't but respecting everyone's choice I, for one, don't want to continue to look at failed marriages, look at failed relationships where there's like perpetual or consist consistent cheating, there's abuse, emotional, financial abuse, there are, you know, so many different issues, lack of commitment, and just... But again, there are children being born into these situations and they're not benefiting, and so shifting the mindset and you may not be at a point in your life where you can shift because the scope of where you are you kind of have tunnel vision and your your mind won't allow you to see it and that's okay but are you reading are you doing your research are you immersing yourself in a social media that is healthy for you i really love twitter because it gets the girls together slum flower actual black mermaid these are girls who I'm sorry, these are women who I respect, who are doing a great deal of work, Shira Seven, who are doing so much work to educate women on how what you're doing, you're driving yourself insane because you're doing the same thing, expecting different results. Now I'm going with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna set my face. So tell me, how are you guys how is your dating life how are you currently getting by like how do you define dating what is your purpose what is your hesitation for leveling up what are some concerns that you have about kind of moving through this journey of changing your mindset toward dating let's keep the dialogue open let's encourage women to continue to make themselves knowledgeable you know what i'm saying even if you don't agree continue your research because a lot of people talk you can tell they don't even read it's like all right sis you know your focus is very narrow because your scope and your level of understanding is rather limited by choice because you don't want to educate yourself and that's detrimental to the community i know i look a little powdery but it's gonna come together. Now I'm not gonna let this set too long. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder. This is the Matte and Poreless version in Warm Sun 334. And I'm just going to buff away the translucent powder. Boom. So what I wanna do is go back into the Rose and the Air Palette and I'm gonna add a little bit of this like burnt orange warm brick eyeshadow right under the eye. Build it up, build it up, don't be scared. 
do not be scared if you're of a deeper complexion you can use the chocolate color in this palette i need you to make it sultry you know it's like a reverse smoky eye where you're putting the intensity on that lower lash line y'all gonna listen to me because y'all when y'all comment this one little trick changes the makeup look and it just makes it look super sexy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cause see when they look into your eyes you know what i'm saying they gotta they gotta see a little bit of promise and a little bit of sexy too okay because that sexy promise Mm-hmm. Keep them, keep them coming back. Keep them investing. Period. Okay, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. Now, this is not drugstore, but I could not. You guys, if you can splurge and get this, set it off. I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. It looks a little intense, but I'm gonna go back in with this fluffy brush and the eyeshadow from before and use this to blend out the pencil so it looks a lot more seamless and fluid we're coming together just just you wait up now for a little bit of highlight i'm going in with the maybelline master chrome highlighter in molten gold this is what the girls can 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 go up for get it real good on the uh a very pointed brush and we just want to put that into the corner of the eye i'm going to lay one layer down and then i'm going to mist the brush and go back in you see we opened up our eyes that's what we did what we did when we added the molten gold was what we said was hello i'm here take note yes you are welcome to come over but it's gonna cost you okay that's what we did when we added that little touch of highlight that that's what it said okay because i heard it and i'm going in with the sephora thin brush eyeliner again this is not drugstore you can use the wet and wild version or the nyc version if you can find it and I'm just gonna create a wing liner. Now I'm adding a little bit more drama because my eyes are kind of like my invitation. So that's why I go a little bit harder for the eyes. Of course, the wing liner is not mandatory. So flex how you wish, sis, just make it cute. Now I need to contour my face, sculpt it so that we can sculpt that future. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in Mocha. And just, you know, tap, tap at the skin. Follow the same motion that we used when we were, you know, blending out the contour. Very light hand. You see, you see, you see how now I look like I've been in the sun, I've been in the Hamptons, I've been on the yacht, <laughs> I've been everywhere okay like oh yes i just got back from like oh yes i just came back from the cayman islands and uh you know look a little bronzed blending is your friend if you think you've blended enough blend some more and then mist the face this is just water so for the highlighter you can either use the maybelline master chrome in molten rose gold or molten gold i'm going to use fenty beauty's trophy wife because that's what i am and so it's such a beautiful color and i like to apply this on a damp face And then all that's left is for me to put on the most dramatic lashes that I just will not compromise on because they're the best. So these are one of my favorite lashes and I get so many compliments and this can take a basic look and make it all that sultry and jazzy. So sis, th this is the time. This is, this is when you need to go out to the beauty supply store and get these, they're about $4. Slay all day. So with this makeup look, I love a very warm, neutral lip 
with a glossy finish and so I have to go in with the Sephora cream lip stain in Cedarwood this is a gorgeous brown but it has like a hint of red in it and it just looks so beautiful against the skin and I like to apply two layers let it dry down so the color really intensifies and then once the lip stain has dried down I like to go in with this kind of baby lilac lavenderish mauvey type of matte lipstick Revlon's nude attitude is comparable to the look and aesthetic so you can use that as well and I like to apply it to the very centers of the lips to really blend it with that lip stain and then for the glossy finish I go in with the Fenty Beauty Universal Gloss Balm Fenty Glow and Honey this is such a look for me it's like my go-to look I love how juicy it just really it it screams look at my mouth as I'm talking I mean this is like an undeniably gorgeous look sis get into it